it's cold out there. So, you might have seen this painting. Um, I'm going to show you today, I'm going to do a video today um, showing you how I do the water. Um, now this is, a, well this painting is uh, a painting lesson on MJS TV. Uh, the full painting is there, every single brush stroke. The, nothing has been left out, there's no time lapse, there's nothing. Literally from the moment I pick up the first brush to the moment I put the brush down at the end of the painting. It's all been filmed, there's instruction on everything, it's all available. MJS TV, so it's www.michaeljamesmith.tv. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to show you, there's going to be a little excerpt from that lesson. I'm going to show you how I did some of the water. So um, hope you enjoy it. Before I go, just wanted to let you know that um, on my Patreon page now, I'm doing live streams just for Patreon uh, subscribers or Patreon members. Um, so you can go and check that out. Um, Two dollars a month. That's all it is. Um, I started last month, so it's the first live stream on there. You can ask questions, um, anything you want, anything you want uh, answers to, ask away. Um, so that's just another little thing that I'm doing. Um, but let's get into this video, shall we? Okay. All right. I want to go back outside. Oh, it's cold. So when we move over to the water, as we're moving over to the water, we have sections of water. So I'm seeing it really as a section here. We have smaller sections in there, but I'm going to say that section is in between the two boats. And then this section here is in between this post and the outside. We're going to work on a section at a time moving across from left to right. And I think I'm going to come down to approximately this level. The water below, we tend to have a little bit more um, transparent colours in there and we're going to do the top in such a way that um, it wouldn't work for these areas that require a bit more transparency. So what I'm going to do is almost block the colour in. So here, 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 here and here. We're going to block that in getting the colour, the lighter colours of the water approximate. Then we're going to add the darks afterwards. So we want for the, the paint to go on not too thick we need it to be sort of relatively thin um, and I'm looking at the color sort of round about this spot here to begin with because this area the lights are a bit more peachy and then as you move over into this direction they tend to have a little bit more of a gray to them so all I'm going to do is put this color a very thin coat but we're going to smooth out the block in color just a very small coat sort of in the top three quarters to an inch. Now the reason I'm doing this quite thin, this coat, is because I'm going to be adding some the darker colours over the top of it. And if we put this on too thick, then it's going to be difficult to do that. And as we said, as we move to the right, it definitely gets more of a grey. So we've got that thin coat in there now. What I'm going to start doing is adding some of the darker tones, first of all, sort of nearer the, the top of the waterline there. So what we're looking at is very much a grey colour.
Okay, so now I'm going to be working on the water just below the boat here. I'm going to be careful that I don't move too far in this direction with the water because we still have these posts to do and I know that if I do this area here I'm going to be leaning in it. So we're going to get this area of water done, then we'll get working on those posts. So I'm going to go back to the smaller brush now and work on just this area of dark here. There's quite a lot going on in that. It's, the water's a bit more choppy, but we do have still some darker areas, but they're smaller. So just smaller brush is going to allow us to really refine those smaller details. some lighter elements now. Okay, right, so we've added the lighter colours, now what we need to do and move back to the darker tones. So I'm going to go in with the warmer colour now, so give the brush a good clean. Now we have that pink already there. Right, let's now start working on the water here going back temporarily to the larger brush going to put the the lighter areas that we can see in there so we need to mix up some new paint now holding that up to the photograph that's probably roughly where we need to be just getting the lighter little areas in first of all then we can go ahead and add any darker colors that we can see Okay, I'm going to now move over to the Series 6, this is the size 0. I'm going to add a few darker tones now. So, so what I'm looking for is the darker, yeah, I suppose the darkest elements. And they're darker than you'd think. This brush does it actually allows you to get quite a nice transition so you get some softer because you're kind of working it in and especially on canvas it work even better okay so we need to obviously add a lot more detail to that but before we do I'm going to work on this darker reflection of the post Continuing with the same brush just for the moment, and I'm kind of going over the sort of largest bit of that area. I'll leave the edges for a smaller, smaller brush. Mm -hmm. 